The Golan Heights is a timeless corner of the earth that is primordial and incomprehensible. Perched on an isolated volcanic plateau, it obscures the latent and eerie power beneath it. As the source of the Jordan River, it also holds the secret sources of the past. Remnants of civilizations had difficulty taming the rugged physical extremes. Now it is largely uninhabited, as it was through previous millennia. Windswept and empty, primal forces both fascinate and yet warn us of our fragile existence within such a harsh environment. In the shadow of Mount Hermon are the ruins of the Stonehenge of the Middle East, Rujum el Hiri. In Arabic, it means Stone Heap of the Wildcat, or in Hebrew, Gilgal HaRefaim, Wheel of Shaded Ones. It is a possible example of the handiwork of the biblical giants in Genesis known as the Refaim. East of the Sea of Galilee and the Jordan Rift Valley, it dates to the Chalcolithic period around 3000 BCE. Structures sprang up in large numbers in the Golan, including dolmen fields. Mysteriously, there are no artifacts from this period as if the area was a taboo zone. Some scholars believe Rujum el Hiri is part of a much larger and earlier mysterious complex on the Golan Heights. Located in a military no-man's land between Israel and Syria, few people, including Israelis, are aware of Rujum el Hiri. It was hidden until 1967 when the Israelis fought for the Golan from Syria during the Six-Day War. Silent and abandoned Syrian bunkers line this particular approach, with minefields still activated in this border area. From the air, it is an ancient monument in the shape of an azimuth, the builders of which were adept at geometry, astronomy, and agronomy. On the ground, it's a heap of stones with over 37,000 metric tons of basalt rock and in concentric circles with a central burial cairn. In Genesis 6, the fallen angels bred with women and were called Nephilim. These were destroyed during the flood. Their DNA seemed to come through one or more of the wives of Noah's sons. Their offspring are called Rephaim in the Bible. These giants of great stature had six fingers and were associated with violent rebellion to God. The Rephaim and their clans of giants controlled this area of Bashan, just south of Mount Hermon. Rujum el Hiri was in situ, both during the time of Abraham and also during the Israelite conquest by Joshua. According to the Old Testament, Bashan was controlled by King Og. His iron bedstead was nine cubits long, making him about 13 feet or four meters in height. Mount Hermon aligns due north of the structure and the site seems to have astronomical purpose. The northeast entrance to the cairn is oriented to the summer solstice and the brightest night star of Sirius. Some scholars suggest that the central burial cairn had ceremonial significance to the Rephaim and is possibly the burial place of Og of Bashan. New Age members are attracted to the site, especially during the summer solstice. Archaeologists still have no idea of the true purpose of this monolithic structure or who built it. Rujum el Hiri is a difficult site to access, both in the harsh, sun-scorching winds of summer or the foggy, moor-like cold winters.